Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, another controller has arrived. Just uh, doing lots of experiments with these different DC controllers. Anyway, this is from Amazon. 12 volts, 3 to 12 volts at 1 amp. So, 9 bucks on eBay, or on uh, Amazon. Anyway, it just arrived. I've got it uh, coarsely spliced into a uh, magnetic lock-on. I have a Canadian Pacific on the rail with an original Mark set. I'm going to see how this little transformer works. Power is on. So as you see, it runs this Mark's motor absolutely splendidly. Let's take it up a bit. Wow. That's not even full power yet. Now this is 3 to 12 volts at 1 amp. So for running Marx motors, this would actually work quite well. Now the Canadian Pacific draws about 1.4 amps. So obviously this is putting out more than 1 amp to drive it this well. This is really small. The only drawback to it is when you turn the power down, it does not turn it off, as you see. So the only way to change direction is to actually cycle the power with the power switch. So anyway, this one runs forward only, it doesn't make any difference. But uh, just looking for cheap, really simple replacements for the original Marx Transformer. This thing's nine bucks. As you see, it runs really well. That's still not full power. That's going to derail if I run it any faster than this. And it just did. So, as you see, that was about 10 volts, something like that. So, that uh, little power supply is more than adequate to run a Marx locomotive, no doubt. So, in any case, just wanted to do a quick video. I have derailed everything. Hold on. Uh. There we go. So, more than enough power to run this, as you saw. More than enough power. All right. So, really small. I've got it stuck to the top of a Marx transformer right now with sticky tabs. So, it has a little short AC cord, which is right there. I mean short. It's only about two feet long. And then a fairly long... Uh, cord that I've spliced into the uh, lock-on. Anyway, it's a really small power supply, as you see. It has a single knob on the top, but for a simple layout, this would be more than enough power. You know, right now, I'm just trying to find an inexpensive way to do this. So nine bucks with free shipping. As you see, this will run this locomotive virtually all day long. The only thing it won't do is shut off. You never, uh, it goes off when you turn it down. It never uh, actually stops full voltage or voltage from flowing. Uh, let's see, what else should we put on here? Let's try the diesel. There we go. All right, diesel's on the rail. Let's see how it runs on this little power <coughs> supply. As you see. That's not even half power yet. Let's crank this up. So as you see, it has plenty of power to run a sim simple marks layout. And this is still DC, of course. So you have the option of running it really slow. And that's quite amazing. So nine bucks on Amazon.
And for a simple layout, this would be more than adequate. This actually runs quite well. Anyway, I just want to do a quick video on this. It's simple, it's really inexpensive, nine bucks. It is extremely small. <coughs> Excuse me. Has a single knob, uh, power up, power down, but it does not have a shut off. When you turn it down, the power never actually stops. You still have three volts or so at the lowest setting. So the only way to change direction is to actually cycle the power. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, do a quick video on this. It just arrived. I ordered this a couple days ago. And when I saw it, I figured it would be the perfect inexpensive solution to uh, power a Marks layout. I mean, it's cheaper than any transformer you can buy, any AC transformer, put it that way. And it has more available power and it runs better. I mean, it definitely beats the uh, Mark's little 25 watt transformer that they were issuing with uh, the 490 sets has more than enough power to run this, as you see. You can derail it really quickly. So anyway, a little tiny transformer, nine bucks on Amazon. Figure I'd buy it and give it a shot, see how it works. So it works actually quite well. So I just wanted to do a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.